3D printers can fit on a desk, but not this one. Engineers at the University of Maine built the world's largest industrial 3D printer, and it's massive, about the size of a basketball court. It can print boats, military shelters, and even houses. The machine can create objects up to 30 meters long, 10 meters wide, and 5.5 meters tall. It prints at an impressive speed of 227 kilograms per hour using a mix of thermoplastic and wood waste. One of its most amazing creations is a 7.6 meter long boat weighing 2,270 kilograms. Even more impressive, it took just 72 hours to print. This giant printer is changing the game for large-scale construction and manufacturing, all while recycling waste materials. Most projector screens have Little Red Riding Hood had built an office. It might look like this. The Longaberger Basket Building in Ohio is a giant replica of the company's famous woven basket. Built in 1997, it's about the size of a small theater and still draws tourists today. Inside, you'll find regular office stuff, meeting rooms, open workspaces, a cafe, gym, elevators, and even 25 underground parking spaces. The massive basket handles? They're heated to stop ice from forming in the winter. But it's not just an office. It's a brilliant piece of marketing. People snap photos, search for it online, and share it with friends. It's the world's first wicker basket that people actually dream of living in. Bigfoot 5. Imagine a Ford F-250 on serious steroids. That's Bigfoot 5. Standing 5 meters tall and weighing a massive 17 tons, this monster truck is an absolute giant. Its 3-meter tires were originally made for military vehicles in Alaska's harsh tundra. Each wheel is so heavy, it weighs as much as a Honda Civic, about 900 kilograms. But here's the twist. Bigfoot 5 is actually too big to race. Built more as a symbol of American supersized engineering than for speed, it now rests in Missouri. Visitors stare in awe, often asking the same question. How do you even drive that thing? It's not just a truck. It's a road legend, built to impress and impossible to ignore. Dactronics has created one of the biggest LED screens on the planet, stretching across 1,393 square meters with a stunning 14.1 million pixels. This massive display was made for Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers baseball team, and it's a real treat for fans. Measuring 20.5 by 56.4 meters, the screen isn't just huge, it's packed with features. It brings fans closer to the action with crystal clear replays, live stats, and real-time updates throughout the game. Whether you're in the front row or way in the back, this screen makes sure you don't miss a single moment. It's more than a screen. It's an experience that turns every game into a high-tech sports event. To kick off summer in style, the UK set up the world's largest deck chair, standing 8.6 meters tall, about as high as a two-story house. Built in just three hours using sturdy metal beams and heavy-duty fabric, this oversized chair isn't just for show. It's become a favorite selfie spot for thousands of visitors every year. Want to sit on it? You'll need a big ladder and a bit of courage. It's a fun mix of art and summer vibes, turning into a local attraction as soon as swimming season begins. Now everyone's wondering, will they add a matching giant umbrella? Maybe even a huge cold drink for the full beach day effect? Until then, this mega chair is stealing the spotlight. In Rose Hill, North Carolina, there's a frying pan so massive, only a giant could lift it. This enormous pan is 4.6 meters wide and weighs two tons, but it wasn't built just to break records. It has a tasty purpose. Every year at the town's big festival, this mega pan is used to fry up around 3,000 servings of food in one go. To make that happen, it needs a whopping 757 liters of oil each time. Set up outdoors, the pan is heated using gas burners, turning it into the ultimate open-air kitchen. With all that sizzling food, it's easily one of the hottest food spots for miles around, and a must-see and taste if you're in town during the festival. When a regular lift kit just won't do, you go big, really big. That's exactly what one sheik did by building a house-sized Hummer. 
Meet the Hummer H1X3, a jaw-dropping off-road giant. It's 14 meters long, twice the length of a standard H1, 6 meters wide, and stands a towering 6.6 .6 meters tall, taller than a two-story house. Powering this 20-ton monster are four diesel engines, working together to move this beast. Now proudly displayed at the Off-Road History Museum in the UAE, it makes even the largest trucks look like toys. It's not just a vehicle, it's a rolling monument to going big or going home. Think kayaks are just for one person? Think again. Meet the Tequila K100, a massive 12.2 meter long kayak built to hold 100 paddlers. Created by the Swedish company 65 Sweden for their 100th anniversary, this giant boat isn't just for show. It's the longest kayak in the world, officially recognized by the World Record Academy. Calling it a limo doesn't cut it. This thing is more like a bus on water. But while it's impressive, don't expect smooth turns. Steering it on a narrow river is a real challenge. It takes more room than a cruise ship just to change direction. Still, it's an incredible display of teamwork, design, and paddle power. A kayak adventure on a whole new scale. Pattern Lamp by UK-based company Mathmos is more than just a lamp. It's a stunning piece of art. Standing at 1.5 meters tall, it features large, slow-moving lava waves that drift and swirl inside, creating a calming and almost hypnotic visual. With its retro design inspired by the 1960s, it looks like a rocket straight out of an old sci-fi movie. The lamp brings a dreamy, space-like atmosphere into any room, making it feel like you have your own personal galaxy at home. This eye-catching lamp isn't cheap. It costs around $3,712, but for fans of vintage style and mesmerizing motion, it's worth it. Just don't stare too long. You might get lost in the glow. Let me know if you want it even more casual, poetic, or playful. Meet the Liberty Lifter. Not your typical airplane, but more like a flying dock. This futuristic amphibious cargo aircraft is designed to take off and land on water while carrying huge loads, including small boats. With an impressive wingspan of 65 meters, it can lift up to 23 tons, making it perfect for transporting heavy cargo across oceans, rivers, or remote areas. Though still in the concept stage, the Liberty Lifter could completely change how we handle large-scale transport. Beyond commercial use, it holds incredible potential for rescue missions emergency response, and delivering humanitarian aid where it's needed most. Whether it's helping in a disaster zone or moving supplies across vast distances. At the Gundam Next Future Science Exhibition in Yokohama, Japan, fans got an up-close look at Gundam's massive robotic arms. Each hand is about the size of a small car, and yes, they actually move. You can control them remotely and even play a game of rock, paper, scissors with someone. The whole setup feels like something straight out of an anime, especially for longtime Gundam fans who instantly recognize the iconic design. It's not just a display, it's a full on interactive experience. Seeing those giant hands in action is both exciting and a little surreal. So here's the big question Would you be brave enough to give Gundam a high five? Because it might just high five you back. The world's most popular puzzle just got a massive upgrade. Engineering students from the University of Michigan built a giant Rubik's Cube that weighs a whopping 680 kilograms. And it's not just for show. This massive cube works exactly like the original. You can twist and turn all six sides just like the small one you've probably tried to solve. One of the creators is a Rubik's Cube Pro who can usually solve a regular one in under two minutes but tackling this giant version was a whole new challenge. It took him over an hour and left him drenched in sweat. Solving it wasn't just a mental puzzle, but a full body workout too. Now that's putting some muscle into your brain games.
This giant skateboard looks like something Godzilla might ride. Just 11 meters long, longer than two Tesla Model S cars end to end, 2.5 meters wide, nearly a meter tall, and weighs over. Sprite shower, a giant splash of fun. Imagine taking a shower under a giant Sprite dispenser. That's exactly what Coca-Cola did at Brazil's most popular beach. They built a massive 10 meter tall shower shaped like a Sprite bottle, and it was a total crowd magnet. Even though there were already around 1,500 regular showers on the beach, this creative ad stole the spotlight. People lined up every day just to cool off under the refreshing spray. It didn't actually pour out Sprite, but if it had, the lines would have been even longer, with folks eager for a rinse and a drink. This fun and quirky idea showed how turning an everyday object into something massive can grab attention and bring smiles.